All right. So maintenance catalysts, one of the most important topic that I just cannot believe that I haven't made a video on up until this point of time. Maintenance calories is something that you obviously need if you are one of those people who wants to track calories and lose weight, uh, which is the way that I most recommend to most of the people. So when you know your maintenance calories, it's very easy to create a calorie deficit from there and then start losing weight. So yeah, let's get started on that. Okay, so when we are talking about maintenance calories, there are so many different ways to calculate it. You can just straight away uh, use online calculators. There are many, many macro calculators. Just Google macro calculator and it will, it, you have to just put your like age, your gender, your like activity level and things like that. And it is going to throw up a, th throw a number at you like, you know, like 1500 calories, 1700 calories, whatever, according to uh, your whole things and you can definitely use that number and from there you can create your calorie deficit and follow that whole thing and there is no problem in doing that i personally think uh, nowadays that the most of the macro calculators for some people uh, either give a, a very low number or give a very high number so for many people i have found that uh, going with macro calculator isn't the best option there are many better ways to really go about this whole deal and that is exactly what we are going to talk about in this video but if you are lazy you can just simply use macro calculator i will link up a calculator down below in the description for you so the first thing that i will the first way of calculating your maintenance calories is what i use with almost all of my clients not all of my clients but at least most of my clients what i tell them to do is first step is to i just tell them to not worry about calories not worry about basically any single thing with tracking calories measuring your food and all that kind of stuff i just try to improve the quality of their nutrition and their diet i just you know uh, give them some rules like you shouldn't really snack between two meals or you should try to eat more whole foods more minimally processed foods more fruits and vegetables more uh, protein nutrient dense foods and things like that basically start eating healthy uh, when you just start eating healthy you're naturally going to decrease your calorie intake and you're naturally going to start losing weight okay so when people just start to eat healthy like i told you they start to lose weight because they kind of eat in a calorie deficit they continue this for a month or two months or something like that you know and depending upon who you are at some point or another your weight is going to start to plateau okay when your weight starts to plateau and when i mean plateau your weight should not decrease for at least three weeks generally people start to worry about their plateaus when they don't lose weight for two or three days that is not a plateau weight is going to fluctuate on day-to-day -day basis so plateau means that your weight is stuck at the exact same point from two to three weeks okay i ideally three to four weeks but let's say two to three weeks okay when they start to plateau then i tell them to start calculating their calories start tracking their calories rigorously okay so what i mostly tell them is i i tell them to track their calories for two weeks extremely extremely rigorously they need to weigh everything the amount of oil they are putting one biscuit that they ate they need to account its calories for it just basically small little tiny things everything everything that they are putting in their mouth they need to account their calories for it i make them do this for two weeks or so and then i take an average of those two weeks and that is your maintenance calories that is in my opinion one of the best ways to calculate really calculate your maintenance calories because you know maintenance calories is something that is very very complex and depends on individual to individual so it's best if you don't rely on some formula or some calculator something like that okay the best way is to basically measure your calories when you are when you are not losing weight or gaining weight that is exactly what happens on a plateau okay so that is the most natural and the most best way to calculate your maintenance calories in my opinion okay after that once you have gotten your maintenance calories you need to create a 200 to 300 calorie deficit you just need to subtract 200 to 300 calories from that number and that is the amount of calories that you have to eat okay but some people actually uh, find it convenient to start tracking calories uh, from the day one they kind of vibe with that and it's easy for them you know if you're someone who kind of is good at moderating things then the second point is for you and that is a very very simple formula that i use 
you just need to take your weight in pounds sorry you just need to take your target weight in pounds and then multiply it with 12 the number you get is your maintenance calories okay so i'll give you an example say that you're 80 kilograms and you want to be at 60 kilograms so you need to multiply 60 by 2.2 first you know convert it into pounds that comes around 132 pounds or so and then you need to multiply 132 by 12 that comes around 1580 or so 1580 1600 or so okay and that is the amount of calories that you have to eat okay if you are not losing weight on all on the number of calories that i just you know the techniques that i just uh told you if you're not losing weight on that number 99 percent chance is you're just not tracking your calories right you are making an error of two to four hundred calories you know just the other day i was sitting uh with one of my clients and i actually placed him on a very very low calorie diet like a 1200 calorie diet for a couple of weeks uh, to just you know get him going he actually he started tracking calories and things like that and he just wasn't losing weight he actually was that he actually didn't lose weight, uh, lose weight for like three to four weeks or five weeks and i was like uh, i actually sat with him and we went over his complete you know day's worth of food every single meal what he is eating how he's cooking how he's measuring and all those sorts of things and we actually found in we actually found an error of 550 to 600 calories per every day okay so this is something that happens with most of the people uh they are they have gotten the number right on the calculators or by all the formulas they use they are just not good at hitting that number accurately okay so just try to make sure that you are really tracking all those calories right so that is it for this video if you have any other questions regarding to calories macros weight loss or pretty much anything related to this whole uh, health fitness longevity thing then make sure you ask that in the comment section if you like this video please make sure that you click the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel i would love that very very much and i will see you in the next video